and tell us what happened. I lost my shoe, that's what happened. Hey, Monty, look for a shoe. Yeah, look for it, Monty. Hey, what did it look like? Like this one, what it <laughs> What's your name, miss? Charity. Charity Hope Valentine. <laughs> Charity Hope Valentine. I would have snickered other people's names if I was you, Monty. Occupation? <laughs> I'm a social consultant. <laughs> Length of employment? Eight years. <laughs> oh, hey, look, there's my show in the ball. Oh, Monty, would you be a sweet cop? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's a sweet cop. All right, I'd like to know what you were doing in the water. Uh, well, actually, very little. You see, my fiance, Charlie, and I, oh, uh, that's his name on my tattoo. Oh, no, it's really not my fiance. We're engaged to be wed the minute his own marriage breaks up. <laughs> anyway, oh, thank you, Monty. Uh, anyway, where was I? Anyway. Oh, anyway, we had an appointment to meet in the park because naturally we couldn't go to his place. His wife is very peculiar. So I took my shoe off and I put my foot in the water. And You should see your 
sorry, forgive me. My pleasure. Dani. You. Are you busy tonight? He wants to know if you're busy tonight. <laughs> you. You want to dare a girl on the street? Oh, wouldn't I?
moment. I think I'll just browse for a while. I just wish I knew what she wanted. You know, she gets insane if I just look at another woman. Talk to me. You look like a normal, sensible girl. I try to dress simply. Why are women like that? I'm not a better man, I couldn't think at all. Have you? Oh, I, I depend on them all the time. Oh, that girl. She, she's driving me crazy. Those wild bits of jealousy. She's a possum. Oh, uh, that was my first impression. Childish, neurotic. Uh, that was my second impression. Well, she's just not working. It's finished. Finished. Telephone, Monsieur Vidal. The hunt, it's her, begging for forgiveness. She'll cry at me for me to come to her apartment. What should I do? Should I be back on the bus or should I be aloof? Aloof. Uh, the aloofer, the better. <laughs> You're right. I think so. 
Ну, куда там? Куда в юг, Виктория? Да и знаю. Да. Um, да. 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 Да.
to. Well, I'm not giving up without a fight. I gotta get out of this dump. Oh, I gotta go to new places, meet new people. All I need is a little soldier, a little revival. Doing 
know what my impulse oh, is? You know what? To take off all my clothes. Oh, well, I don't think that would do much good. Yeah, you'd think they'd have a telephone in here, wouldn't you? Never again! I will never go in an elevator without a telephone! I will always check for a telephone! You really should change the subject! Yes. If I could just get out for a few minutes. Just a few minutes outside, and I'd be all right. Then I'd come back inside. Actually, is panic. <laughs> it's the cause of your greater number of accidents. Well, <laughs> I'll uh, see you around. Yeah, around. Uh, around where? I don't know. Where are you going? Well, I was going to group analysis, but I guess I missed it tonight. <laughs> oh. Well, will you be all right? Oh, yeah. It was my last session this week anyway. I'm finished. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> What was your problem? Well, one of my problems was that I was painfully shy. Oh, now you're cured. No, I just never had the nerve to bring it up in class, so I quit. <laughs> well, shyness ain't one of my problems, if you noticed. Oh, listen, 
I'm not a nut or anything. I mean, after what happened in there, I can assure you I'm not at all what I seem to be. You seem to be very nice. Oh. Well, if you're not doing anything now, would you like to come to church with me? <laughs> what denomination did you have in mind? It's the Rhythm of Life Church. It started out as a jazz group in San Francisco and turned into a religion. <laughs> All right. Okay, come on. Uh, we'll walk down. <laughs> of Live Church. Tonight's sermon is Dissonance and Harmony. Yeah. And the one and the two. Daddy started out in San Francisco tooting on a trumpet loud and me. Said, go for daddy, spread the picture on a wire screen. And the voice said, daddy, there's a million tensions waiting to be built. A new religion's hit the road, daddy, leave your common old whack. Spread the religion of the rhythm of life. And the rhythm of life is a powerful beat. Put the tingle in your fingers and the tingle in your feet. Rhythm in your bed, rhythm in the street. Yes, the rhythm of life is a powerful beat. Put the rhythm of day. Talkie to Rocky Ridge. I flew his way to Canton, then to Scranton, till he landed under the Manhattan Bridge. Daddy was a new sensation, got himself a congregation, built a private operation down below. Yeah. With the fire driver blowing, while the lost his was flowing, all the cats were going below and down below. Daddy was a new sensation, the fire driver blowing, while the lost his was flowing, all the cats were going below. Peace. Tell us, Daddy, tell us, 
The first and last commandment of the rhythm of life is never, I say never, never snap your fingers on the beat. Now, repeat after me. Desabute my. Desabute my. Da-e-tiful. Da-e-tiful. One, two, three, four. That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Is it? Nah. Is it, Helene? What? If a man kisses your hand, would you classify that as a pass? Well, that depends. On what? On where your hand is when he kisses it. <laughs> hey, where was your hand? On the end of my arm. Oscar has always behaved like a perfect gentleman. Hey, if he kisses your hand all the time, maybe he's after something. Like what? Your wristwatch. <laughs> the only thing he's after is inner contentment, and he wants me to help him find it. Ooh, honey, you sure picked up a couple of hundred dollar words since you've been going around with that goofball. Oscar is not a goofball. He is a, a highly complicated and very intelligent person. He's in the tax accountancy profession. He is also a graduate of CCNYU University. Sounds like a goofball to me. What does the goofball think of your vocation? My what? Your chosen field of endeavor, child. Have you told him you're in the rent a body business? He thinks nothing of it. She ain't told him. In the first place, he is too highly educated to be bothered with things like that. And in the second place, he knows, because I already told him. That you're a dance hall host? Yes, yes. You told him? Yes, I told him. I told him. When? <sighs> next Sunday. I'll tell him next Sunday when we're in Coney Island. <laughs> she won't listen. That girl just will not listen. What do you think they talk about? Talk? Charity? He probably does all the talking. Yeah. Handing her those smooth lines, like maybe last night I dreamt that you and I were in a cozy little cottage. Then he converts the convertible sofa. And really goes to work. Quote, baby, dream your dream. Close your eyes and try it. Dream of furniture. Dream that I can buy it. That fancy bed you prayed for. Leave a small deposit, three and one half rooms, with a walk-in closet. We'll ask the local jet set to dine on our dinette set, right across the street. There's a friendly bank, you make a friendly loan, and the bank says thank you. Baby, dream 
nest in three years. Yeah, she's feeding the chicks, and he's ready to fly the coop. Three fat, hungry kids, all in pink condition. Look so good in the red. That nice obstetrician, Big Daddy's favorite pastime. He's had it for the last time. Soon Daddy don't come home. He says he's gone bowling, but a bowling ball. Daddy's rolling. Every night they fight. Once they both exploded, then they both got tight. <laughs> tight hell, they got loaded. Well, who knows what will sour the cream when you dream Come to think of it, how happy I would be if someday I could find the kind of guy who'd say dream. Baby, dream your dream. Close your eyes and try it. Dream of three fat kids. There's a very good possibility I won't panic. Uh, you see, it's not like the elevator, Oscar. You've got plenty of air to breathe. See all the air you've got? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we've got enough air to last us for hours. Yeah. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Fine. Good. Ah! Oh, Charity, you're shaking. Oh, all over. Oh, are you worried about me? No, about me. I can't stand Heights? Oh, Charity, it's all right. I'm right here with you. You won't leave me, will you? Mm. I stayed with you in the elevator. Fair is fair. No, I won't leave. I'll stay as long as you need me. Oh, gee. Uh, I've never been this scared before. I guess when you know you have someone you can depend on, someone you know who can take care of you, you can afford to be scared. Gee, I never had a someone like that before. Oh, well, I've never had anyone who depended on me before. Well, I'm depending on you now, Oscar. Oh, well, then sit back, relax, and be scared, because I'm very dependable. Hey, don't worry about the girl. I'm up here. It's all right. Uh, hang on to me. Oh, for as long as you like. I'd like for as long as we're up here. Oh, then I hope we never come down. Oh, gee. I don't know what happened to me. That's funny because I know exactly what's happened to me. Here was a man with no dream and no plan in one lonely night. I found sweet charity. You make life fun for me. Oh, what it's done for me, having you around. Sweet charity, warm words I've never said lately. Up off the top of my head, it's incredible. Suddenly I'm the guy I never dared to be. Watch me touch the sky quite easily. So if you are free, sweet charity, please belong to me. Sweet charity, please belong. Oscar, maybe the real reason I'm scared 
is because I got to tell you something about me that you may not like. <laughs> there couldn't be anything about you I didn't like. You see, I'm not exactly with the Williamsburg branch of the First National City Bank. You know, ever since we met, I knew there was something different about you. You have a quality in your charity that I've never found in a girl before. In fact, I'm definitely not with the Williamsburg branch of the First National City Bank. You know what that quality is, charity? It's purity. It's innocence. It's pure innocence. As a matter of fact, I've never, never been with the first Williams at the National Purity Bank. You know, it's the truth, Charity. You're the last of a dying species, a virgin. Yes, a virgin in the most poetical sense of the word. Seven branches throughout the city. Words, I've never said lately. Pop off the top of my head. It's incredible. curricular business. What? What are you telling her a thing like that for? Listen, kid, you want some good advice? Get out of this crummy joint before you wind up like the rest of us. Well, don't look at me. I was always like this. Hey, come on, come on. Well, now what do I do? Sugar, from here on, it's every man for himself. Hey, Ooh, you sugar. Chicago. Sure learns fast for a kid. She doesn't look like such a kid to me. Ooh, touchy, touchy. Sore because you came in second? I'm sore because I came in at all. Boy, am I sick of this musical snake pit. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey, girls, two more balls in the ring. Hey! Look busy, baby. DeFiora's watching. 
Let him watch. Let him fire me. You think I care? Yeah, I think you care. Well, I don't. I don't care. I cared for eight years, but I don't care anymore. And you want to know why I don't care? Because I don't like it here. This is not a nice place. Hey, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that I've made up what's left of my mind, and I know exactly what I have to do. Well, what exactly do you have to do? I have to get out, you understand? Out. Now, tonight, this minute. You mean you're going? I mean you're damn right I'm going. <laughs> Where am I going and what will I find? What's in this grab bag that I call my mind? What am I doing alone on the shelf? Ain't it a shame, but no one's to blame but myself. to know where I stand. What are your intentions? Are you just playing around with me? Because if you are, then what the hell is with all that hand kissing? Hand kissing. Yeah, yeah, I think it's one word. Please, please meet me at 1 a.m. at Barney's Chili Hacienda so that we can discuss a matter of utmost urgency and sign at charity. Oh, no, no, no. Make that sweet charity. He's got to come. He's got to. He won't. Please marry me. Oh, Oscar, you're not making fun of me, are you? Because asking a girl to marry her is one of her most sensitive areas, and you shouldn't say it unless you really mean it. Charity, 
Charity, for the first time, I am happy inside. Really happy. And it's all because of you. Oh, Oscar. Don't look at me. I can get pretty emotional, too, you know. Charity, give me your hand. Charity, you know what we're going to do? We're going to get out of this city. I like that. <laughs> you know, we don't need much money. I, uh, I could get a little gas station. I've always loved cars. Oh, you would like that? Yeah. Maybe a mobile gas franchise with the big red and white sign. Oh, we both like that. <laughs> oh, it counts as it will be together. Does it really count? We'll get your pass. Forget what you did before. Oh, I forgot. It's forgotten. Because I need you, Charity. I need you. And I love you. He loves me. There's this little place on Route 66 in Passaic. Someone loves me.
I'm bellows like a bull to make with the words about the missus to be when what you think is an empty heart is full. Tomorrow when you say I do, I'll die. I'm almost too ashamed to tell you why. I love to cry at weddings, how I love to cry at weddings. I walk into a chapel and get halfway hysterical. The ushers and the attendants, the family defendants. I see them and I start to sniff at you an extra handkerchief. And all through the service, while the bride and groom look nervous, tears of joy are streaming down my face. I love to cry at weddings, anybody's wedding, anytime, anywhere, anyplace. I always weep at weddings, I'm a sorry creep at weddings. Oh, what's so sweet and sloppy and so promise? Chapel and get happily hysterical. I see them and I start to sniff. Please let me use your handkerchief. I drink champagne. And sing sweet Adeline. I love to cry at weddings. Everybody's wedding. Just as long as it's not mine. something. Oh, I've been doing all the talking. <laughs> okay, Oscar, now it's your turn. Charity, I can't marry you. I, um, I, I can't, Charity. I can't go through with it. All right. Oscar, I, I know this isn't a, a joke, because you certainly wouldn't joke about it. <laughs> you know, I thought this time would be different, but it's not. It's, it's the same. It's always the same. Uh, what's the same? The other man. I always get this far, and then I start thinking about the other men. But, Oscar, you, you said that... Oh, yeah, no, I know, I know, I know. I know I kept saying it didn't matter. Because I thought that if I said it enough, I could convince myself it was true. Oh, well, that certainly makes sense to me. Oh, it's not your fault, Charity. Oh, you're a wonderful girl. I am? Yeah, but it's my problem, Charity. I... I have this neurosis. It's a mental block. Oh, there's a lot of that going around. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I have this childish 
incomprehensible, idiotic fixation about purity. <laughs> In this day and age, it's laughable, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not funny. It's, oh, it's but not every funny. time I think of you with all those other men... Oscar, you, you're making a mountain out of a couple of guys. How many? What? How many? I've got to know exactly how many. Uh, Charlie, Frank, Harry, mm. oh, Sydney, Bruce, mm. um, Clarence, and... Mm. Mm. How far back do you want me to go? Oh, my God, don't tell me. I don't want to hear. Oscar, I know I'm not very bright, but I could go to night school. Oh, we could be so happy in that gas station. I know it. And on the days that you felt sick, well, you could stay in bed and I'd work the pumps. Oh, Oscar. I have so much to give. Let me give it to you. Oh, Sherry, get up. You're too good to be on your knees to me. Give the little girl a break, huh? Oh, together I'd destroy you. And sooner or later, it'd start in again, and I'd hound you day and night. What were their names? How long did you know them before? How did you feel? You could ask me anything. I'll, I'll tell you everything you want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. You won't get one word out of me, not a word. Don't you see, Oscar? I I'm very flexible. I can go either way. Oh, no, the only way to go with me is to destruction. Marry me, and I'll destroy you. That's okay. I'm not doing much now anyway. Oh, oh, but the one shred of decency left in me won't let me destroy Oscar, you. No, I must save you from me. Don't save me, Charlie, Harry. please, I am doing this for your own good, please. No. Please run away from no, me. No. Just run. No. Run, run. Oh, God. Oh, God, hey. Hey, I don't, oh, hey, oh, oh, Charity, oh, Char Charity, oh, Charity, I feel sick about this. <laughs> you may not believe that, but I feel just awful. God, I am a terrible person. I am terrible, 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 terrible. Oh, I'm such a wonderful girl, and I am a terrible, not mean, despicable, nasty, no good. <laughs> have one of those days? <sighs> At least I didn't get tattooed again. Still in my diary. Gee, maybe things are beginning to look up for me. Ah!